Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with the box. So, I've got my sugar muses for June 2022. So hello and welcome guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxings. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. Thank you. All right, let's get into the box. I'm like messing with crystals here. All right, how are y'all? It's freaking hot outside. And again, I can't go to the pool because I gotta work. So I gotta bring boxes to y'all first. It's important. And then go to work. And just sit in the air conditioning. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, so I just did our Midnight Muses box. Um, was that yesterday? And it was Midnight Sun. I believe was the theme. So Sugar Muses, this is their deluxe box. The theme is Sun Signs. Very nice. And if you guys are not familiar with um, Sugar Muses, they had taken like maybe a year or so off um, and they came back recently, relatively recently in the Midnight Muses. I believe the box I just did was like their very first box coming back. Um, this I believe is maybe my second uh, regular Sh Sugar Muses Deluxe box. This is obviously it's deluxe. So this one's like $60 a month, I think, like total with shipping. And then the Midnight Muses was 35, I think, somewhere around in there. So, okay, very good. So we've got Sun Signs, uh, Sabbat, Litha, Summer Solstice, Midsummer, Element of Fire, Spells and Rituals, Fire Magic, Solar Magic, Success and Power, excuse me, Personal Power Spells, Tools, bonfires, sun wheel, stone circle, and candles. On June 21st, 2022, the sun moves into the sign of cancer. My son, I've already told you guys, my oldest son was born, I was due on the 21st, but he was born June 22nd. So still kind of summer solstice, but anyways. All right, so it'll move into the sign of cancer at 0514 AM. It says EDT, Eastern, what is well, what does it stand for? Eastern daytime? <laughs> I don't freaking know. Um, usually, like, it's like, like, I'm central time. Anyways, whatever. All right, marking the beginning of summer. The summer solstice, also called midsummer and litha, is the longest day and shortest night of the year. It is a potent time to set intentions and set up the manifestation factor on important goals. Depending on your individual spiritual path, there are many different ways to celebrate Litha or Midsummer. But the focus is generally centered on paying homage to the sun. As a great fire festival, it was celebrated by jumping bonfires to promote good luck. Fairies were often enticed with the scent of I forgot to put on lipstick. With the scent of flowers <laughs> and offerings of honey. June's full moon is known as the honeymoon and hand fasting, which is a pagan wedding were often held at this time. I, I think that if me and my boyfriend ever get married, it will be like a hand fasting because he didn't get a sign of paper. <laughs> It'll ruin the relationship. Okay. It's a time to expect the unexpected and allow yourself to believe that wishes really can come true because there's powerful magic in the air. This month, as we celebrate the summer solstice, we take a closer look at sun signs or zodiac signs and how they can add power to your spells, rituals, and energy work. The constellation uh, the sun was in, the constellation the sun was in, when you were born represents your personality traits and may indicate where your strongest magical talents lie. Each zodiac sign also has one of the four elements and it's associated magic connected to it. So why not incorporate this natural advantage into your spells and rituals? So, speaking of that, and we're getting ready to, I'm going to tell you all the dates. Uh, she has a little astrological thing here. I would love to know what y'all's sun sign is and um, if you know what element it is. So, I'm an Aquarius and that is an air sign. Okay, so it says, you, if you're not familiar with the zodiac signs and their dates, here is a list. So, Aries, the... Um, the symbol is the ram, and it's from March 21st through April 19th. The uh, Taurus is the bull, April 20th through May 20th. Gemini, the twins, May 21st through June 21st. Cancer is the crab, June 22nd through July 22nd. Leo, the lion, July 23rd to August 22nd. Virgo is the virgin, and it is August 23rd to September 22nd. 
Libra is balance or the scales. September 23rd to October 23rd, Scorpio is obviously the scorpion, and it's October 24th through November 21st. Sagittarius is the archer, and that is November 22nd through December 21st. Capricorn is the goat, and that is December 22nd through January 19th. Aquarius. Now, the symbol is the water bearer, which makes you think that it's a water sign. It's actually an air sign. Uh, air is attached to like intellect, communication, thought processes, and stuff like that, just FYI. Uh, Aquarius is January 20th through February 18th, and Pisces, the fish, is February 19th through March 20th. So I have Aquarius, my boyfriend's Capricorn, my oldest son is a Cancer, my middle son is a Sagittarius, my baby is Pisces, and his daughter is also Pisces. All right, so elements, signs, correlating magic. Um, so there are, so the four elements are associated with, each element associated with three different astrological signs. So fire element is associated with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And correlating magic would be candle spells, bonfires, making sun water, charging tools with sunlight, herbs, and crystals linked to fire, self-healing, helping others find their passions, banishing negative energy, solar plexus, chakra balancing, kitchen witchery, and alchemy. Air element <laughs> is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And associated magic would be wind spells, smoke scrying, incense burning. Oh, that's why I like incense. Duh. <laughs> Hiking in the mountains, yeah, right? Uh, feather magic and signs, connecting with birds and winged creatures, yes. I, I love peacocks. Like, I think that they're just super freaking beautiful and cool. Painting, music, and writing. I can't sing. I can't. Um, high chakra balancing and astrology. Yes, ma'am. Okay, water elements are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So see, I have... So I'm an air sign. Um, two of my boys are water signs, and oh my god, are they water signs. And then my middle son, who's getting married in a couple days, he's a fire sign. Okay, so element of water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ritual baths, cleansing, brewing teas, ocean and sea witchery, crafting moon waters, working with mermaids and water spirits, floating spells downstream, lucid dreaming, intuition, and psychic abilities using seashells and coral in your craft. Uh, earth element. I have zero, zero earth in my chart. <laughs> my boyfriend is an earth sign. He's a Capricorn. Also, earth signs are Taurus and Virgo. Crystal and stone magic, tree and plant magic, herbalism, magical gardening, collecting and using dirts and roots in your craft, animal connection, working with fae and earth spirits, root chakra focus, and creativity. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. They are curated to help inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I've outlined one below along with the magical properties of items tools in this month's box. All right, let's get into it. So we've got um, our artwork right on front and we've got um, sun signs. And this is just a little artwork. Um, with all the astrological signs and it just has like a little association. So where's Aquarius? Aquarius and she's put astrology. So like one of those magics and Christy does these, the owner of this box, um, sunshine art print, this digital collage art print was created exclusively for this box. It can be placed in your, on your altar or added to your book of shadows, grimoire for future reference, blur to blur. And that's the same information for this next artwork. And it is Litha. And she has a bunch of correspondences on here to do with Litha. Very nice. Put these actually over here. All right. And then we have our intuitively drawn Oracle card. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what direction this is. Okay. Oh, it's like a moth, y'all. Okay. So Enchanted Blossoms. There's the back of the card. I guess that's the name of the thing because it says Enchanted Blossoms. And I got Sincerity, and it says Shervil Lesser Purple Emperor. So it's like a, it looks kind of like a dragon moth. <laughs> I wish I, okay, well, I'm going to have to look this up. So it says search for Enchanted Blossoms Empowerment Oracle by Carla Morrow on SugarMuses.com for more info on this deck. Take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has for you and any 
and of any insight it may bring. Um, I don't know, but I want this as a pet. Can I have a purple dragon moth? Yes. This over here. This over here. Okay, so we just have some tissue paper making it pretty. See, all these people really know how to do this tissue paper. If you guys order from me and my tissue paper looks crappy, sorry. Oh my God, it's jam packed, y'all. Okay, let's get started. Cinnamon apricot, ooh. Herbal tea blend. Mmm. Very nice. All right, let's find our tea. And again, with uh, sugar muses, they usually like plop in the um, items in the box within a ritual. So sometimes there's not like a ton to say about each item. Um, so usually at the end of the ritual, she says, you may also wish to ground yourself with some food and a cup of cinnamon apricot organic tea. This tea contains marigold, sun energy, happiness, and luck, and cinnamon, sun energy, power boost, and success. I've included a muslin bag, it's somewhere in here, <laughs> to use with your loose leaf tea. Very nice. I'm going to open this and smell it, because, I mean, seriously, it sounds like it smells great. Um, again, if you guys need some herbs, mm, can you guys smell it? It smells good. Do you see? Okay. Um, if you guys need herbs, of course, in my shop, Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. It is entitled My Witchy Shop down below in the description. I've got my herb jars, plugging it away. Also, I do these in one ounce baggies um, if you guys don't need the jars or already have my jars. Um, in my description on my herbs, y'all, it does um, say if they're food grade, which I'm pretty much moving most everything into food grade. There's a few herbs that we use as witches that just are not ingestible at all, and I will put that do not ingest. But also, you know, before you ingest anything, please check with your doctor or whatever. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Then she gave us a spell. It's a success spell. It's on a little thing. Again, I'm not going to um, read this because you should subscribe to the box. Just saying. All right, so then we have some red clover, which I do sell in my shop. Let's see if she says anything. Okay, use with the success spell. Please refer to the spell card. Red clover can be added to sachet bags to promote positive energy and to draw abundance and success into your life. Very good. I will be putting this in my giveaway because I sell herbs, so I have tons of herbs. <laughs> um, and if you guys are not familiar with uh, my giveaway that's coming up, once I hit a thousand subscribers, y'all, I am going to be doing a massive giveaway, and you may receive some things in my box, maybe some things from my store. We'll see. Who knows? I will put that over there so it can go into that box. All right, then we have our ritual salts, and it says Radiance. Very nice, you can see some yummers in there. It looks like there's, um, we probably have calendula in like everything. Um, let's find us. Okay, so she has this, I believe, at the beginning of the ritual. This is what I usually do when I do like a big ritual. Um, I will take a ritual bath first to kind of purify myself and it says here, you know, purifying yourself. Salts have endless uses. Wonderful for cleansing and casting circles and for purification baths. Mixed with water, they can be used for purification of your circle and on their own. Used to represent the element of earth on your altar. Salts are infused with dry orange peel, chamomile, no oh, chamomile, just kidding, not calendula, and lemongrass and charged with solar energies. When finished with your salts, repurpose the empty jar to hold incense, dried herbs, etc. Yes, ma'am. I, um... I need to start making my own, guys, because I have, like, I got supplies. Um, anyways, all right. And now we have something in a sachet. Look, it's pretty. It's got um, little moons and stars on it. Very nice. And then she puts a little uh, card that says what it is. I don't want to say it out loud just yet because it's, it's a surprise. Still a surprise for you guys. Okay, hold on. Might have to break this or something. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. This is hard. Okay. So, 
Nice. So this is mica. I hope that it show look, see? Ooh, look at the pretties. You can, so mica ground into a powder you can use to color different things, uh, like in uh, bath products is what I use it as. Um, I'm, I think they also use, well, I, I don't think, I'm positive they also use uh, like ground mica in um, like makeup to get that pigment. Um, that is so pretty. Very nice. Thank you, Christy. Okay, let's read about our crystal. Raw Muscovite Mica. Use with the success spell. Please refer to the spell card. This gemstone may be used in magic to enhance visions, improve intuition, for and for manifesting intentions. Its pale yellow luster helps promote solar energy, such as positivity, personal power, and success. Very nice. I do not have any Muscovite mica. Very good. Awesome sauce. Okay. All right. Now we have our candle. It is a litha candle. Woohoo. Oh, yummy. Oh, I think there's some lemon in there. Look at the cute little flowers. Oh, my gosh. So nice. Oh, and then on the top, there's a... A sun, very good. All right, where is our candle? It's probably somewhere in the beginning, maybe. Uh, perfect the space. Litha candle. This one's candle has been spellcrafted to honor and promote the energy of Litha. Manifestation, personal power, and success. This candle has been hand poured and infused with lemon, orange, and lemongrass essential oils and dressed with dried botanicals carefully arranged on top of the soy wax. Take a moment to sit in silence and breathe deeply and then, you know, be safe and all that shit. Okay. <laughs> all right. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. I see some more herbies. We've got our chamomile blend. Is there something more in there? Okay, it looks like maybe orange peel and chamomile. Okay, very nice. Let's see here. I think it was probably... Chamomile blend. Use with the success spell. Please refer to the spell card. Chamomile is often used in spells regarding prosperity and luck. Washing your hands in chamomile water before gambling is said to increase your luck. Add to sachet bags for luck and success. Place pressed chamomile flowers in your wallet to attract money. Yes. I'm going to, like, rub this all over my body and put it all in my pockets and then go play the lottery. Because <laughs> then what's going to happen, guys? Do you know? I'm going to have the best witchy star ever. Jazz hands. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's... Okay. Keep going, Lisa. <laughs> All right, now we have a sachet with uh, a bracelet. Yay! Okay, so I wonder if she hand stamped that. I bet she did. So this, it looks like she probably, like, maybe used her Cricut to cut. I have a Cricut. Like, that's how I make my stickers. Um in my shop. If you guys don't know, go take a look at my shop. I got stickers, witchy stickers. All right. So anyways, it looks like she hand stamped this sun. How cute. And then here is our bracelet. The little sun guy right there. Let's see what, hmm. I honestly don't know what, what, um, crystal that is. see it in here y'all we got a bracelet it's yellow with the sun <laughs> that's your description <laughs> maybe if I find it at some point I will um, I will uh, I'll go back over that anyway all right now we have our lemongrass mm. lemongrass 
incense that smells amazing all right this just talks about burning at the beginning of your ritual to cleanse your space and to set the intentions of your ritual lemongrass is generally used for purification it is often an ingredient in road opening spell work and it is also known to help in changing bad luck to good oh i just thought of what my I just thought of what my ritual is going to be for Litha, y'all. Speaking of um, rituals, what is, so what, let me think about this. There is a ritual, I think, tonight. Sage Goddess is doing, let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Is that tonight? Events. Okay, I think I'm on the old, I'm on an old, I'm on an old thing. Okay, hold on. Bear with me, y'all. So, I don't know if you guys follow Sage, Sage Goddess. I do. Um, I've only gone to, like, one of her actual rituals, but um, I'm being called more and more to, like, um, check her out. She, yeah, that's what I thought. So, tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, or whatever, um is her Litha Summer Solstice Ritual Live with Athena. So if you guys want to go to that, um, you can go to her Facebook page, Sage, Sage Goddess, and um, she, you can uh, say that you're going to that event. Just check out the events. When you go to the Facebook page, just hit events and you'll see it. Okay, we have a different, um, our, our um, what's it called? Our perfume oil or ritual oil or whatever it's in a different container than like the one I got from sugar muses so this one's called radiance look at this fun one and it says a summer blend I wonder if it's a roller it is okay this is gonna smell amazing I can just which again I said on my midnight muses mmm it's very summery um I said on my her other <laughs> on the other video that I did of the Midnight Muses that her perfume oils are amazing. Okay. I love them. All right. Let's see if I can find... Radiance. Okay. So during the ritual, it says to anoint your pulse points with the... already did it. <laughs> the Radiance Ritual Oil. Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself with energies correspondent to your intent. This magical oil blend is infused with lemongrass, which is road opening, green tea, which is cleansing, and bergamot, associated with the sun, promotes joy and prosperity, in an organic almond oil base. Um, oils can also be used to anoint candles, spell items, and altar tools. Because this oil is free of alcohol, phthalates, and other chemicals, I suggest using it within one year. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the day and night. Very good. I love it. Okay, all right, we got some crinkle paper. Hopefully I don't. There you go, feed the monster. Oh my God. Um, I can't remember who said it, but one of y'all, one of y'all said is the monster coming to the wedding. And I was like, the bully at work or my ex-husband? She meant this monster. Uh, I forget who said that, who said that? That was hilarious. Um, and the fact that I'm special and <laughs> was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> yes, the crinkle paper monster. Crinkle paper monster. Oh God, I just knocked him over a little bit. Sorry. Sorry, bro. All right. We're, we're getting close to another cousin it. He's looking really good. I'm excited. Okay. I found our tea bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think there's only two more things in here and I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Okay. Next is a candle snuffer. I wonder if it has it on both sides. It does. Look, there's a pentacle. <gasps> it's a candle snuffer. Let me get my thing. Snuff that candle. Okay, that wasn't lit, but. <laughs> oh my gosh, yay, that's so pretty. I have um, another candle snuffer. Mine's actually getting kind of funky, but I've got this one. And it's got all those little colors and stuff. 
but like the little stuff is like falling off right there. <laughs> Anyways, I got another candle scrapper. All right, let's see. Oh, I just found the I just found the uh, bracelet. Okay, so this is serpentine. Is it okay? All right, mine's like yeah, it's a little light colored serpentine gemstone bracelet. This gemstone is said to increase prosperity and good fortune. Serpentine enhances meditative states and aids in retrieval of ancient wisdom. It is said to be a powerhouse stone and helpful in removing blocked energy that may be standing in the way of your success. Very nice. All right, and. Let's see where brass candle snuffer. All right, so during the ritual, we are going to extinguish the candle flame with our brass candle snuffer. Some believe that blowing out a candle is disrespectful to the element of fire. Yeah, so normally I either, depending on the size of the candle or whatever I'm doing, um, either let your candle burn down or snuff it. Don't blow it out because you're, they also say you're kind of like snuffing out your, well, this is a snuffer. What you're kind of, Decreasing your spell or whatever if you if you uh, blow it out or whatever you're kind of whatever anyways you get it whatever 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 <laughs> Okay, I believe this is the last thing holy moly I uh, Ready Look at this OMG it is a freaking astrological wheel and she made this like it's hand painted. It looks like she maybe it, it was made from resin. I saw that it said resin and then um, Kind of it looks like she sponged it, you know sponge painting, but she wrote on there, you know, she remuses 2022. Oh my gosh Okay, let's look and see. I wonder if we do something with this during the ritual Sun sign wheel Handmade from resin and it's got little feet on the bottom so it sits nicely. Oh my gosh. I need it. See, I've been wanting to do some resin stuff. Um okay. I'm listen, I need to quit my day job, or which is actually a night job. But anyways, I want to bring so many videos to you guys. Are, do you guys would you enjoy some witchcraft crafty videos? Um in a high profile coven that I used to be in, which will remain nameless because there was a falling out there amongst lots of people. But anyways, <laughs> uh, we did some crafty things and one time and it broke like I need to recreate this anyway. So maybe I could recreate this with you guys. <laughs> it's it's going to be a funny video. It's going to be one of those with mistakes, which is like all of my videos. But we made a um, like a goddess statue out of uh, like polymer clay. And like we each did it, you know, over video. But anyways, would that be something that you guys would like for me to have like a crafty, like a witch crafty segment? Because I love me some crafts, y'all. Um, and if that sounds like something fun for you guys, let me know in the comments below. Because um, I've been wanting to work with some resin. And um, so, yeah. yeah. All right. So anyways, let's go back to this. This wheel is hand painted with a gold tone finish created exclusively for this month's box. It can serve as a centerpiece on your altar or to hold crystal grids. That's what I was thinking. This would be a great crystal grid. You could put, um, you know, I don't think I have a, well, here's one. Like you could put your generator in the middle of that sun right there. Um, and then put, ooh, this could be super cool. This could be, you could put like, corresponding crystals for each astrological sign. Okay. I also need to start doing more crystal things with y'all because I fucking love crystals. And um, we could do some crystal gridding and stuff. Anyways. I love it. Yay! Um, I need, so I've been trying to organize my house, my apartment, I'm in an apartment, because it's pretty, it's decently small. It would not be small if, if it was just me, but, but my 25 year old is here and he takes up a really big room. <laughs> um, but anyways, I've been trying to do some organi organizing or at least thinking about the organization. <laughs> so hopefully I, I'm supposed to work tomorrow night, but I think I might be off. They 
Sorry guys, my camera stopped rolling, so that's why it's spliced like this. Anyways, um, also, just an FYI, I know today is Tuesday, it's supposed to be Terror Tuesday, I'm sorry I'm late on the Tuesday video, which I think I was on Wednesday last week anyways, so it might be, um, it might be work with the Tarot Wednesday, work Work with the Tarot Wednesday, or it could be Tarot Thursday, which doesn't really sound that fun, or Fortune Friday or something. Anyways, it's going to be, I will get it out this week, I promise. Hold me to it. <laughs> I'm going to work really hard, and if I'm off tomorrow, that'd be great, because then I can really get it done for you guys. And I will have a Witch Tip Wednesday, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, or it could be Witch Tip Wednesday on Thursday. Eventually, I will start, um preparing better. <laughs> uh, but anyways, okay guys, that is it for our sugar muses for, what month is this? June 2022, our Litha box. Yay! Or Sun Signs. I think it was called Sun Signs. I would love to hear what you guys think of this box in the comments below. Leaving me that comment and the thumbs up really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And y'all who subscribe to me, watch me all the time and comment. Thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. And again, a thousand subscribers, y'all. I'll be doing a giveaway. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.